Isn't it amazing how we're taught to look externally for all the answers? We don't really want to go inside ourselves and find out if there's something inside of ourselves that we need to heal or fix or or sort out. We would rather look externally. So I took last week off on holiday. And of course, people still message me because, you know, that's what life is, isn't it? And um, a lot of people would mention about the supermoon and um, how it kicked their ass or it made them uncontrollably tired or it did this or it did that. And my answer to every single one of those people has been, why are you placing your attention on something external, believing that affects you internally? I'm not personally a believer in the moon. OK, I don't believe in it. I don't do the whole full moon, new moon. I, that's not for me. That doesn't mean it's not for you, though. OK, but I'm making this video because I'm asking you to look why you're looking external for an answer. When internally, is there something coming up for you? Are you feeling tired or were you feeling tired because you weren't dealing with, I don't know, some trauma from your past? Was your inner child, was that the one that was making you tired? Did you look at, did you even think about the food you were eating? Did the food you were eating, did that make you tired? Because it's so easy to say things like, oh, menopause is kicking my ass. Sure, great. You want to put your attention towards believing that. Do that. Perimenopausal, I want to believe in that. Okay, cool, brilliant. Believe in it. And I make the content to ask you to question why you believe what you believe. Somebody messaged me last night and was just like, what's your take on crystals? Personally, don't believe in them. But again, that's my belief. Because I'm like, well, why are you looking at something external and placing that on your heart chakra and saying that, for example, obsidian is going to heal me? You know, why do I need to put clear quartz on my third eye to heal me when actually I can heal myself? So sit with that today and ask yourself, yeah, why am I looking at the supermoon expecting it to kick my backside? And I said a really good chat with my friend and I said, do you know all the things that you think are going to happen tonight? they're going to happen because you're giving it energy and you're giving it power so if you expect the supermoon to kick your ass it will if you expect menopause perimenopausal to make you feel a certain way it will because you're creating the thought that is creating the condition to make you respond and feel that way i've been working a lot with someone recently you know who's trying to you know help themselves in terms of their breathing and stuff and I'm like well all the while that you think that it's going to be difficult to overcome that in your chest all the while that you think it's going to be difficult to heal that part of yourself it will continue to play out and be that way because you believe it's going to be difficult to heal so many people contact me and say to me how long is this inner child stuff going to take you know the healing that I offer I'm like you tell me as long as you think because I want you to really think about that today. Whatever you're thinking, whatever circumstances you're creating are controlling your life. So by all means, give your power and say that if I have that Reiki treatment, if I have this crystal, if I do that, if I do that, that's going to cure me. When actually the only person who can heal yourself is you. And that only takes acceptance. That only takes looking at your past and saying, I truly accept myself deeply and completely for who I am. Anyway, I'll leave those thoughts with you today. Have a brilliant day. I'll be live at some point later on TikTok. Enjoy. Take care.